All right, man. I'm back again. Cool water, the digital dough, man. Another episode of the Ballroom Chats podcast, where we talk about things in the area of entertainment, culture, politics, education, business, and health. So uh, today, I just ran across this like about two, three minutes ago, and I'm just dropping some game. This is an opinion. This is not real researched in the sense that what the media has given us. Uh, And I'm just going to give you my opinion. So, today, Antonio Brown, former Oakland Raiders football player, um, has been released by the New England Patriots after only 11 days of being with the team. Uh, I'm not shocked because it's chess versus checkers. And by that, I mean, these folks is thinking 10 times ahead. And most of you niggas only think past your, your nose. Like, uh, one of my partner's uncles told him, black folk got a 24 hour plan. White folk got a 24-year plan. And the Asians got a 2,400-year, 240-year plan. You see what I'm saying? Not thinking long-term. So, Antonio Brown is now out in the cold. So people say his attitude was whatever it was. I really didn't follow the dude per se as much as I probably would follow some of the Atlanta Falcon players like Julio Jones or somebody in that regard because Julio right up there with the best stuff. Antonio Brown, they say his attitude was horrible. And when you become a difficult nigga... White folk gonna get rid of you. I don't give a damn if you corporate. I don't give a damn if you the trash man. If you if you working for their organization and you become too difficult, they gonna get rid of you. So the dude feeling rambunctious because he was bucking the system from what stories and conversations that have been put out. You know, I heard some about he went to the doctor, man, and he farted in the dude's face. You know, how much of that is true, I can't really say, but it could be, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of back talk, a lot of, you know, a lot of slickness at the mouth, but that's just somebody, man, who ain't really got the full scope of things. Upbringing might've been a little off, but here's the real play. Here's the real game. Take his behavior out the picture. Antonio Brown is disgruntled employee because all high, all athletes, entertainers, comedians, basketball players, football players, and and and, and everybody else really are high paid, glorified employees. That these dudes just get paid millions and millions of dollars to be high performance players. He wants out the contract. He starts to fight. He's doing everything to get out of Oakland. He owed them folks $30 million. I don't remember how much $15 was guaranteed. I don't remember how much he got guaranteed. But he owed them folks some money. He turns around, man, and gets granted the opportunity by Patriot, New England Patriots, to pull him over there. We're going to let this nigga out the contract. He gets picked up. He overly excited. He gets over there. He go through a couple of drills, a couple of practices. They look and they checking him out. But really what's going on, in my personal opinion, is in the front office, the general managers from both camps have already discussed contractual issues. Is it really beneficial for us to pay him this money, this $9 million, and then turn around and we got to offset some money to Oakland is just like the record business. When when Dr. Dre left Death Row, 
Easy E still made a quarter. He made 25 cents a record off of Dre's new Chronic album. And that album sold millions. Because he still had a contractual obligation with Death Row, uh, with, with, with Ruthless Records. Antonio Brown, even though he's released, there's still a contractual obligation because this $30 million, man, that they put into, you know, what you're supposed to be doing, and you ain't paid. So that ain't money that nobody just want to write off. We got to get that back. So now... How much of that money that they was going to pay him, was he going to have to turn around and legally be obligated to pay Oakland back? Because this is real talk. Now, I'm not saying it's true or not. I'm hypothetically giving you a scenario. How much of that money was going to have to be paid back to Oakland? Because you're under contract with them. Just because they released you don't mean that your financial obligations would away. They not finna write off 30. You got X amount of guaranteed dollars. But white folk who run these, these, these white guys that own these sports teams, they talk. They friends. You not they friend. They talk. And the talk in the back room might be, man, this nigga is a fucking fool. Like, he really think that he finna go over to the New England Patriots and prosper. These people ain't, especially if you an asshole, these people ain't about, about you coming up. You know what I'm saying? These people ain't about you shining. So, you getting beside yourself, feeling yourself, thinking you done did something thinking you the new booty that's finna blossom out here in the uh, arena. And then, you know, Patriots, who already got several Super Bowl rings, really we got to figure out where you're going to fit at. Because we got guys that we already know, they know the program. You got to come in and learn the program. It don't serve us no purpose to see if we want to keep this dude or not. So it... They released him. But the real play, and like I said before, for me, is him moving from one team to the next and thinking that there's going to be a level of freedom there. No, man, those contractual obligations still have to be paid and met. And Antonio Brown, in my personal opinion, is doomed. Because now... Nobody's going to risk taking a chance on putting this volatile player in the le- in the system that they got going on, because he is a time bomb that's ticking, and he may explode to the point where they have to just the whole league have to put a ban on him. You know, you want to bring it up, blame it on his upbringing and not having a father in the home. After a while, that should go out the door. Because you can go get you some counseling for that. Especially when you're making that kind of money. It go out the door. We're not, we not going to continue to use that as an excuse. Now, if he's been molested, you know, then that's understandable. He needs psychological treatment. He needs some real, thorough treatment. But the real reality is, is that this guy is heading to the poorhouse. Another entertainer. Who is about to go from being a multi multi millionaire to broke? You know, and most of them are not business savvy. I'm not saying he is. I don't know, but I'm just saying we look at the the, the history. Most of these guys ain't business savvy. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I really think Antonio Brown got played because Oakland Raiders said, "Okay, let's send him. Let you know they picked him up. Let him go." couple phone calls get made they weigh the options and then he already supposedly got some sexual allegation charges against him which is so ironic at the very moment how does work at the very moment you get transferred to a new team some chick sprouts out of the corner saying he sexually harassed me like it's been tucked away all this time but then the minute they get it the minute you get to a place of peace, boom, here she come. All this to me is a contrived 
plan to destroy Antonio Brown. And part of it is he's destroying himself, but at the same time, this dude is done. He's a right. It's a wrap for him. There's no coming back from that. So uh, let's you know, let's watch. Let's see what goes on with his uh, story. If he gets picked back up by another team, I think Pittsburgh was gonna get him, but then I think they decided to pull back. I don't think nobody gonna touch him now. I think he got here in the cold. I think he finna be at the house with a huge uh, deficit over his head. Cause some of that money you got to get back because you're not playing. So if they gave you nine million guaranteed and you ain't playing, well, you got to turn that back over, bro. Some of that money gonna have to go back to the man. You know, that's guaranteed money. They, and you in a uniform, that ain't guaranteed money. And you at the house watching TV. It just, I don't think that's how the contract works. But I'm out. We'll see what happens. Check me out. Is hip hop head? Is hip hop dead.com. Look for me at the digital dope man.com. Uh, peace and stay blessed. And, uh, you know, please keep an eye out. Let's talk about this one. You know, y'all shouldn't get some info if y'all see anything different. Holler.